The final candidate is Mr. Tan Kim Lien. My name is Tan Kim Lien. I'm standing for election as President of Singapore. Many Singaporeans have told me they want a president who can be a voice of the people, be independent of the PAP government, safeguard their CPF money and Singapore's reserves. Give me your support and I promise you I will do my best as president. I come from a humble background. When I was a child, my family lived in the rented room and had to move house many times. I started work when I was 18 and after working for eight years, I was able to afford my own HDB flat where I lived for seven years. Like many Singaporeans, I travel regularly on the bus and MRT and visit the food centres. I know what life is like for most ordinary Singaporeans. These days, many Singaporeans find it hard to make a living. The tough competition for jobs, working late, travelling in crowded public transport and just paying off the bills. I know what it's like for you and I want to be your voice to convey your concerns and aspirations to the government. As I have never been a minister or member of parliament, I will be able to think outside the box and take a different perspective from the government on the issues that are faced by Singaporeans. I will act independently of the government in carrying out the duties of the president, especially as a check and balance to prevent abuse of power and corruption. Being qualified and with the relevant financial knowledge, I can play an effective role to safeguard your CPF money and the national reserves. This is a key role of the president and is one concern to many Singaporeans. I had nurtured an insurance company for 30 years, looking after the savings of over 1 million people and managing assets of $17 billion. This experience had taught me on the need to be prudent in our investments, to avoid speculation and to invest for the long term. Many of you or your parents may recognize me as the former Chief Executive Officer of NTUC Income. I am able to carry out the duties of the President as set out in the Constitution and to represent our country well. I was a board member of a large international organization called the International Cooperative and Mutual Insurance Federation for more than 15 years and was elected to be its chairman for five years. The members of this international body manage assets that are several times of the Singapore reserves. My role in the board required me to travel at least twice each year for meetings held in many countries. I had met with people from many countries and cultures. I was the first and only Asian to be elected as chairman of this international body. In carrying out the duties of the president, I will be guided by my personal values of honesty, fairness, 
positive attitude, courage, and public service. I will also continue to seek the views of the people, your views, on the issues that are important to you. To help me keep in touch with the people, I will form a President's Personal Council comprising of people from many segments of our society. They will help me to identify the important issues that affect Singaporeans. I will adopt a constructive and cooperative approach in working with the government to understand these issues and help to find the appropriate solutions. I will also seek the inputs and views of the civil servants and ministers. After the general election, the government has taken steps to review and change some of their past policies. I hope to be able to get the views of the ordinary people towards this review. By adopting a constructive approach and engaging the citizens, this process can help to rebuild trust in the government and pride in our country. I pledge to do my best to achieve these goals. I wish to run for president as a public duty. I do not wish to receive a large salary and will donate at least half of the salary to charity and other worthy causes. I hope that this example will encourage other Singaporeans who are well off to step forward and contribute to this goal. There are many people in our society that need financial and other assistance. This charity can be an additional channel to meet the needs of these people. I hope that you will give me your support and together we can build a better future for all Singaporeans. Thank you.